Hello folks, this is Leah Morardi here from my uh, East Rutherford, New Jersey. And welcome to the uh, special Friday afternoon presentation of uh, of House Show Match of the Day, which was a Contenders Jungle Ground matchup. The only reason why we're doing this is because we're letting you know that the uh, Big Time Wrestling will be happening Sunday evening in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And this matchup is going to decide who's going to wrestle Lorenzo for the world title. But the runner-up will get to wrestle Bratton Obama for the U.S. title. I mean, the United States title. And no, we're not in Cedar Rapids in Iowa. What is going on with the freaking technicians? I know how Vamp feels now. Oh, my gosh. You, you, ja you jackalopes. I'll tell you that much right now. But if you didn't check out Shockwave last night, yeah, check it out. It was a great show. I mean, LeJohn Lennox, I'll tell you what, he could be a early candidate for Comeback Athlete of the Year. So we got this going on, uh, basically. Uh, and? So this is a uh, Friday presentation of a Contenders Jungle Ground match. 30 men, lot, a whole slew of talent going to be in here. Vamp right now is behind the camera, so that's the reason why he's not with me, partnering with me right now. But, uh, I'm pretty sure I got this. Oh, look who's coming to the ring already. Oh, man. But if I if I know somebody can last in there for quite a while, it is our former X Division champion, Christopher Hovis. And what the heck? Okay, he's, I, you know what? This doesn't surprise me. He is a mad scientist. I mean, mad scientists like that are cold and everything. I'll put it that way. So this does not surprise me with Mr. Hovis. That's for sure. And, uh... Tell you what, this should be a good one. Whoever wins it, doesn't matter what number in here, they're going to have a hard time because we're, we're always learning that number 30 is not guaranteed for you to win the Rumble. It's how you take advantage of it. But Hovis is going to have a long way to go as he just drew number one, folks. I'll tell you that much right now. I do miss Vamp saying, ah, Leia. <laughs> but you know what? That's where I'll get over it. And uh, let's see who's coming out at number two. Oh, talk about David versus Goliath right here, or Spider-Man versus the Juggernaut for that matter. And I got a note to Marvel, please don't retire the Punisher. You know, Punisher was always one of those main characters in the Spider-Man universe. I, I heard rumors going around. And, uh, you know. My nephew has been a fan of your comic books for a while. And, uh, you do that, you know what, uh. He's talking about he uh, may not do anything anymore. Deal with Marvel. You know what, nobody does understand about the Punisher, I'll put it this way. He was made as a character for, uh, yeah, Vamp was telling me about this. He was, uh, he's, uh, he's like the comic book inspiration, like, for, uh, Charles Bronson from Death Wish and all those other guys and stuff like that. And, uh, I guess, uh, you know, I'll put it that way. Jacob Coldblood coming at number three. Yeah, a little, a little disappointed with that, but, you know, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go on, uh, be impartial and just uh, go on with my uh, commenting this matchup as we see Jacob Coldblood come in at number three. Usually he wrestles with Michael Ryan, but I don't know. He's been in a uh, questionable state as of late because Michael Ryan now is with uh, the Boomtown Saints. 
And I think Bat, uh, Bat just came back and he's uh, cussing a fit with the t-shirt company that was supposed to make his t-shirt. And uh, basically, we still haven't got in yet. He's like, hopefully by Sunday we might get in. And that would be great. I think I heard that Michael Ryan's got a uh, Hell in a Cell match with David Finley coming up at Dark Asylum. I think I heard rumors about that. And right now, oh, Hovis, oh, there's a game changer, as Vamp always likes calling it, the pile driver. Oh, here comes Joe Kenny, wow. Hovis, wow, got taken out by his creation. Like I said, once again, if you do not know, Mayhem and Pain are Christopher Hovis creations. And now the creation uh, just ruled over the, ma the teacher, or the master, or the creator, whatever you want to call him. Oh, here comes Marcus King at number six, wow. Try American champion. And don't forget, guys, whoever eliminates a champion there may be... Liable to get a uh, tail shot against the ch champion and eliminate in the Rumble. So, Marcus King, if he gets eliminated by Mayhem or Kenny, we might be seeing uh, one of those guys get a shot. Oh, and Kenny, uh, oh man. Of course, that would be their discretion if they want to reject, which uh, I think Kenny would have no problem because. Uh, Hey, he feels like he should. He does want to rain on anybody's parade. It's like, for example, when Creighton was champion and stuff like that. When uh, Creighton uh, held the uh, Shockwave title or the MSW World title, he never wanted to uh, rain on his parade. I mean, Joe Kenny is like one of the sportsmen here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. The nice crisp New Jersey, uh, New Jersey air out here. Oh, and there goes Mayhem. <coughs> and right now, John Monaco coming at number eight. I remember when he used to have the long hair. I guess fans used to call him Kip Winger because he looked like a lot like Kip Winger. But now he got a trim now since he's uh. He's, he's uh, been a father lead role model to his, uh, I think I heard rumors that him and Sabrina are expecting a second child. I wonder if that happened. I'll have to talk to Lorenzo about that. Lorenzo can tell me all about it. Mr. Resistor at number nine. We already had six people gone. I mean, uh, people are getting gone at a fast pace. Only Kenny, Monica, and Resistor are in it. Oh, right there, man, wow. And now Kenny. Oh, look at Monaco with the beautiful wheel barrel into DDT. I mean, I'll tell you what right now. I mean, this should be interesting. Ted Rockpage, the TV champ, come in, number 10. So he's TV champion. That means whoever eliminates him can wind up getting a uh, tell shot against him. And that could definitely happen. Uh, to, that could definitely happen this Sunday. There will be 12 big matches, including one of them that's being advertised big time as Reverend Morbin and Grit taking on Jefferson Darcy and Chaz for the World Tag Team titles. Bennett coming in at number 11, <clears throat> former Universal Champion. I mean, basically, you know what? I mean, uh, yeah, he, yeah. what happened was he ran out of options after. Oh, and Monaco goes over. Kenny with the veteran move. I mean, you come to think about it, that, uh, oh, and Kenny gives a rock page a taste of uh, Suplex City, or, what he likes to call concussion man. Oh, and there goes Resistor. Wow. 
Uh oh, here comes Baron Von Farkas at number 12. And, oh man, he's going to try to eliminate Rock Page and uh, Bennett interfered on there. If I was Bennett, I would let him uh, just get rid of Rock Page. It would have been one less person to deal with. But hey, I'm not the one wrestling in here. Oh, Rock Page. Uh oh, that may. Oh. And Rock Page trying to get a hold of Kenny, but uh, did not work. Iron Taylor coming at number 13. Aaron Taylor, a current SWW world champion. He would love to add another world title to his regimen. There's no doubt about that. And right now, Farkas has got Taylor. Maybe Taylor's dreams might be over with this. Oh, and Taylor's dreams is going to be dashed quickly. Oh, my gosh. Good night, Iron Taylor. Wow. We got Farkas, Rock Page, Bennett, and Kenny all in here. And, uh-oh, here comes Evan Magnificent. Now, uh, you know what? We got some exclusive tape we're going to play on Sunday, and you are going to be maybe shocked about it. It deals with Evan Magnificent and somebody else. Nothing bad, but I was surprised what happened. And here's two, uh, two old adversaries, Kenny. Uh-oh. Ben is going to help out Kenny against uh, Magnificent. But John Lennox, here he is, the SWW Tag Team and World, World Television Champion. <clears throat> he's been on a roll as like, like I said, he's, you know, he could be an easy a a candidate for comeback athlete of the year. Oh, and Lennox is going to take out Kenny. I don't think Kenny really cares. He's taken out by a fellow Saint. Wolfchild coming at number 16. Oh, and oh man. Man, Lennox, did he get rocked by that snake eyes. If this was a dice table, uh, Evan Magnificent maybe won some big money. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting, folks. I'll tell you that much right now. I think it might die down a little between Saints and the Bullet Club, but not exactly between Orion and Finley right now because... Although, yeah, because the War Games match last week, we saw that uh, the Saints did beat... Uh, the Bowl Club, when uh, Adam Foreman pinned Moxley. There might be a special challenge match that happened tomorrow. I guess Moxley has challenged uh, Adam Foreman for that Simo Wasteland title. Oh, and there goes Rock Page. Bennett gets rid of him, so that means no matter what happens, if Bennett does not even win this Rumble, he gets a shot at the TV title. And there goes Lennox. Percy H. Gus Galaxy the third. He is the paranormal. He is something that they call the paranormal champion. It's a belt that's got a Ghostbusters logo on it. Which is, I think in my opinion, since I am a Ghostbusters fan, pretty damn neat. And, uh... Guys, I hope I'm doing a good job out here. You let me know, please, in the comments once... This video gets posted to YouTube. Let me give some shout outs here right now. Shockwave Wrestling, Marcus the King, Christopher Halvis, Iron Taylor, Brian Hernsberger, Lady Kenzie, Got Mark76, Vince McSham. Uh, you got KKWE Network, Ricky Armstrong Productions, Chuck. Back in the day, 2K, WCW Rewind. Got Mark 76, uh, if I did not mention him. And here comes Brandon Styles. Brandon Styles, too, Joey Styles. Check out his stuff. Mad Sinister Macau. Check out his stuff, too. He's got some crazy stuff going on. I'll tell you that much right now. 
He's got in one of the federations right now. He's got a presidential candidate that's running around the ring with no pants on. I didn't. That goes by the name of Aiden Walrus. Somebody get that guy a damn pair of dress pants. Adam Foreman, here we go, a Simo Wasteland champion. He may be doing double duty tomorrow, if, I mean su Sunday, if uh, he happens to win this Rumble. This Jungle Ground matchup. But we all know right now the guaranteed contenders in here right now is uh, Matt Bennett might be, again, a potential TV title shot. And then, of course, you got uh, Joe Kenny, if he wants it. You can get a shot at Marcus to the King if he wants. That's all up to him. Oh, look at GX3. Wow. What a, what a suplex right there. I think that, that's like a form of teardrop suplex. And they grab underneath the leg and uh, just for, they can't escape. Oh, and there goes GX3. Wow. Adam Foreman eliminates GX3. And Eric Foreman going right after Evan Magnificent, but, but no avail. He just threw him in the corner. Oh, man, what a shot there by uh, Adam Foreman. Oh, what a drop kick by Brandon Styles. Come on, Brandon, eliminate Eric. I wouldn't mind seeing a match between these two, honestly. If there's anybody who can represent maybe the Great Lakes uh, great, it would be uh, Brandon Styles. Oh, right now, Farkas just got waylaid with a neck breaker by uh, Foreman. Oh, and Bennett gets taken down by Eric Foreman. All right, got room for one more until somebody gets eliminated. Green Meanie coming in at number 21. Here comes the Meanie. An old, an old friend of Lorenzo's that was brought in by Lorenzo, basically. Lorenzo was uh, Lorenzo's responsible for bringing in a lot of these people in this area. I give them all the credit in the world, and they turn out a hell of great talents. I mean, over the years, we had some great people, some great agents just bringing in clients, and then basically, we had some great uh, graphic designers that did our ring really well. You know, the big time wrestling is not from Dark Lake Studios, but. They did. They always did like the specials. Oh, and now uh, Magnuson just got rocked. And Eric Foreman just got eliminated. Who? <laughs> Who eliminated him? Oh my gosh! I guess we'll have to find out later. And right now, Adam Foreman. Fighting with an old family nemesis, Evan Magnificent. Oh man, what a shock. Oh man, and Farkas uh, might be getting. Oh man, and all. Oh, wow, there goes two buys within a record amount of time. Foreman gets eliminated with Farkas, and Farkas gets eliminated by the X Division champion, Wilchow. And don't forget, Wilchow's got a championship. So, uh, anything happens here, uh, it can be no doubt that somebody could get a shot against Wolfchild. Well, I guess I'm going to have to go back later on and see who eliminated Eric Foreman. Somebody's going to be winning a great, uh, a great Lakes Tower shot down the road, if not Sunday. Oh, what a shot by Wolfchild. Michael Ryan coming in at number 22, the new saint. He's been adopted in a group just because of his disdain for the bullet club so uh and he and like i said bat says don't worry hope you get his shirt soon that would be great
Oh, Meanie just got rid of Orion. You know, I don't know if I can yay or boo about that because it's like, I'm gonna have to boo about that because it's just because it's Michael Ryan. Nothing against Meanie. Wave Claw coming in at number 23. Now, here's a guy that's been making some trouble. Even though he doesn't have the TV towel anymore, he does cause a, he does cause a hell of a lot of havoc. Wave Clown coming at number 23. And Ray Clown, uh oh, coming up here. Brandon Styles and Ray Clown, they have had some run. Oh, and Green Media won the world so that means he's going to get shot at the title. He's going to get shot at the title. Green Media gets an opportunity at the X Division title. And Evan Magnus, oh, man. Cole Nelson snap. That was devastating, too, and uh oh. Arrow gets rid of him. Arrow, and now Arrow has the pot of gold uh, briefcase in here. I think it could be possible that uh, if Arrow does not decide to cash in the uh, briefcase, uh, you know, he can, well, he can wind up maybe forced to put on the line. Jericho Wyndham coming in number 25. Here's a guy that would love to get back the MSW World title on the behalf of Crossbones. Of course, I think uh, the reason why Flair wanted Jericho in there was because Flair worked with his uncle for many years in the Horseman in Barry Windham. Russell against him, worked with him in the Horseman. I mean, uh, those two have had a long-standing relationship. And I think a very good friendship. And oh, Flux Capacitator by uh, Blue Arrow. Wow. Billy Paul coming at number 26. Billy Paul would love another opportunity. Good God Almighty. Oh, and there goes Brandon Styles. Billy Paul in him. Rockstar Steve coming in at number 27. He, he won the Rumble last time. Can he uh, maybe get himself another shot at the title? Who knows? Oh, Billy Paul is going to go after Matt Bennett, and Rockstar Steve caught him. And good luck to try to get eliminate him, Steve. Unless you got a Herculean strength, you're not going to get Billy Paul over that easy. You're not going to be able to lift him that easy. Your best bet would be leaning him against the ropes and clotheslining him over the top. That's why I see a lot of small guys do the big uh, giants in this one. Meanie's still going at it. Matt Ben is still in there, and he was number 11. That's, you know, you couldn't think about that. That's an incredible feat. Let's call it what it is. Oh, and there goes Steve, so no encore for him. Oh, he's going to get rid of uh, me and look at Ray Clown interfering. I don't understand that. Let, let him get rid of him. I mean, you know what? That's the thing about it. You know, that, that opponent that you don't let him get rid of may come back and haunt you. Bryce Sanders coming in at number 28. Wow. Boy, club seems like they picked some uh, numbers because I think David Finley's in here and uh, nobody has not seen him in here yet. They're just rolling all over the damn place. I mean, it doesn't matter what what faction you're in of the ball club. Uh, doesn't matter, you know. Doesn't matter what federation you're in right now. They're just causing havoc one way or the other. Grim Gory coming at number 29. I know Marcus is Universal Wrestling right now. He's gonna have. He's got Jay White coming up against uh, 
I think, uh, from what I know, Jay won against uh, David Finley for the title. It's like, good gosh, again. I guess it's better than Pete Davidson. And Grim Boy's going out with another oddity, the uh, Ray Clown. Oh man, Billy Paul, uh oh. Oh, good God almighty. He got, he got splattered by Bennett with that move. I forgot, so like it's a pump handle Mitch and no kid driver. Oh man, what a move there on Sanders by Bennett. Bennett is, I don't know, Bennett seems like he still has all his freaking energy. Oh, I mean he's out of there. At least he gets an X Division title shot. Uh oh, here we go, number 30. And I think I know who it is. And I think Marcus is not going to be happy with it. Oh, and there goes Rave Clown. We are down to six, and it is David Finley. Good God, how the hell did that guy get number 30? That's all I'm going to say. Scuzz bag. You may have respect for Corey Creighton, but you know what? Uh, you know what? The majority of the fans still think they're Scuzz bag. Oh, what a shot by Jericho on Billy Paul. Wow. Oh, here we go. Sanders up. Oh, man. No, you should just let him eliminate him. What the hell, man? I don't understand that. You know what? Sanders may come back and haunt Billy Paul. No, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, was, uh, Billy Paul may... I mean, Jericho Wyndham may come back and... Uh-oh, uh and Jericho Wyndham's now going. There's no doubt. He's got that big choke slam up. And good night, Jericho Wyndham. There's a lot, of gener a lot of generation athletes in there. You got still in there. You got Bennett. You got Finley. You got... You had Jericho Wyndham. Oh, wait a minute. David Finley's going to be taken out of there. But you still got one more member of the... Uh, you still got one more member of the Bullet Club in there. You got him in there. You got Billy Paul, Matt Bennett, and Grim Gorey. And there goes Matt Bennett. Wow. But he's got a TV title shot to come up this Sunday against Ted Rockpage. So, uh, that's not so bad. I guess Six Car's been trying to make a rule that, uh, you know, uh, he says that he wants to try to make the TV title very legit. He's talking about he wants to, uh, basically make sure that title's defended every week. Since it is on TV time. And I'll tell you what, right now, I gotta admit, uh, that should be an interesting matchup. Oh, wait a minute, Billy Paul. Uh oh. Oh, man, here we go. Taking out Grim Gory. Good night, Grim Gory. No tell shot for you, sir. Not this week, at least. I think this might be a weekly thing. Who the hell knows? For what six goes by telling me because of uh, our producer having different work shifts. I guess he's got a legitimate work shift now where uh, he won't be working his other job on uh, Thursday morning, Friday morning, Saturday morning, Sunday morning. So it sounds like uh, it sounds like uh, Sunday night might be the legitimate night that big time wrestling might be happening anymore. And right now, can Billy Paul? Uh oh. Can Sanders get Billy Paul over? That's that's a whole heck of a lot of guy there. I would say if it's like Joe Kenny or Wolchow, there could be a good chance. But this is Billy Paul. I mean, this is quite Sanders. Sanders is strong himself, but you know what? He's a white. He's like like heavyweight strong. Oh wait a minute. Uh oh. Oh wait a minute. Sanders was not. But Billy Paul was quick enough to get back in the ring to preserve his chance and maybe a legitimate shot. 
Another legitimate shot to tie it. But it doesn't matter. Runner up will get a shot to Universal Belt. Held by the Bratton Hall Bomber. Of course, I heard, speaking of Bomber, I heard rumors that him, Ray Clown, and Hot Stuff Hobson have formed an alliance. And I say this correctly. I was like, wow. Talk about three uh, people in vicious mean streaks. Oh, and Billy Paul missed it. That was the, that was, that could have been the big shot, and he missed it. Oh, my gosh. And fans are not happy with that one because it still leaves Sanders alive in this one to win it. Sanders is just having trouble with Billy Paul. I think Sanders wishes that uh, somebody else would eliminate Billy Paul, and it was somebody else that was in there, in there, in, in there instead of. Uh, but Billy Paul, I'll tell you what. Oh, there we go. Now Billy Paul gets an advantage. For a while, it's like Sanders is. Oh. Oh man, Sanders is going to try again. Come on, Sanders, just lean up against the ropes and eliminate you want to eliminate that damn bad. I mean, I don't mean to give anybody advice, but you know what? That seems logic. That's what small guys do against big guys in a rumble. Go, folks. Billy Paul with the big opportunity if he can get, over, get Sanders out of there. Oh, he does. Oh, man. Billy Paul has punched his ticket in for uh, Sunday night against Lorenzo. That'll be Billy Paul Lorenzo Part 2. Oh, congratulations, Billy Paul. Wow. Rumors was that if he didn't win that Rumble, it would have been a backup match where it would have been uh, Kenny and Billy Paul tagging up against High Energy. But now they're gonna looks like they're gonna have to find different contenders for that. Billy Paul has done it. Congratulations! Oh wow, look at that! And Billy Paul pointing up there, and uh, wow! I'll tell you that what right now. That's just great, folks. I like to thank you all for joining us here tonight uh, for a special house show presentation. See you Sunday in Atlantic City on the boardwalk as we present to you Big Time Wrestling. Main event has just been punched in right there. Billy Paul against Lorenzo. Plus, Morgan and Grit against Jefferson Darcy and Chaz for the tag team titles. Good night, everybody.